Hey, happy Wednesday. Oh my gosh, you guys, grab a beverage, grab a snack. By the way, look what I got the other day at the grocery store. I got cookies and scream M&Ms, and then I also got, check it out, I got the uh, Ghoul's Mix in, um, are these caramel? No, they're peanut butter. Peanut butter M&Ms. <laughs> I love those. So Halloween is slowly trickling in, and Kringle Candle has just given me the scent notes for the new collection that is launching August 5th. Mark the calendar, August 5th at midnight. If you fill out the form for the text messaging, you're going to get in an hour early. I'll put the link below. There are 19 candles coming this year for Halloween. I'm going to go over all of the scent notes right now. If you're just joining me, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, which means if you use the code QueenGeek, you're going to get 15% off of Halloween and anything else you order, including, check it out, the new fall candles. I got to review this one for you guys. It is so fabulous, this blue. Um, this is the blueberry maple. It smells really sweet. I don't know. This might be, might be a little too sweet for me. I don't know. I got to try it out, though, but I'm excited. I like the blue wax. So Halloween, oh my gosh, there are five returning favorites, 14 new fragrances. Classic Black Jar, they are going to be, this is different this year, you guys. The Kringle Signature 100% Soy Wax, it's going to be a, you know, off-white creamy um, wax. I should have grabbed one of my other candles. It's not going to be the Black Wax this year, so a little bit of a different... Um, uh, formula. Uh, same with, the, it's going to be soy wax, but it's not going to be uh, the black wax that they usually use. It's going to be the white wax. So a little bit different there. Um, biodegradable, clean burning, non-toxic soy wax. You know how much I love the soy wax, you guys. Um, ultra fragrant. Yes, these are fragrant. Oh my gosh. All of the soy wax for me always burns so well. These are two wick candles, 100% natural cotton self-trimming wicks, and you can reuse the jar. So I'm going to go through all of these. So number one, first one is called Apparition. I don't know if you can see that up here. It's like a really pretty ghostly candle. I'm going to try and get screenshots because they're starting to put them on their um, social media so you can kind of see them up close. So the first one is Apparition. This is a really interesting one. It is wet leather, sweet tobacco leaf, cedar wood, crushed moss, vetiver, patchouli, and sandalwood. I feel like a lot of companies are doing the leather and tobacco lately. I'm really curious to see what wet leather is. I don't know. This one seems to be, it's going to be strong, I think. Um, next up, we have candy corn, which is going to be new for 2022. I love candy corn. I'm wondering if they added a little bit more candy to the corn. Um, it is rich caramel, golden honey, butter, sweet praline. I love the praline. Nutmeg, cinnamon, creamy vanilla, and toasted almond. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to do a comparison um, from last year's candy corn to this year's. Next up, we have Cemetery Lane. How neat is that one? Cemetery Lane. Cemetery Lane. The top note is a dark, mysterious musk. Midnight Iris, patchouli, dried oak, creeping moss, <laughs> creeping moss, dusky cedar, and sweet earth. Um, yeah, this is kind of like, uh, being in a graveyard. I don't know. Cemetery Lane. I'm excited about this one. I'm hoping it's a mossy patchouli. I don't know. That one's exciting. Okay. Next up, Coffin Rock. Upon this Coffin Rock dances patchouli and sage. That sounds interesting. It's woody, herbaceous spice, patchouli, dried lemon, Silver sage, oak moss, musk, and warm cedar. Kringle uses a lot of patchouli. They use a lot of woody, herby scents in their Halloween, and they're usually wonderful. Okay, the next one is called Dungeon. 
It's an earthy blend of dirt, moss, and cedar wood. <laughs> like that sounds really good. Earthy cedar wood, tonka, and dirt moss. I want to. I want to smell all these dirt candles. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I don't know. This is like really Halloweeny. Next up, we have graveyard fog. I'm loving the picture on graveyard fog. Um, that one is galbanum, which is like an, a sea scent, um, eucalyptus, cardamom, cinnamon, vetiver, clove, amber, leather, and cedar wood. Again with the leather. Um, it says dense fog drifts eerily over the dewy grass, lifting notes of cardamom, leather, and vetiver. Oh my gosh, she sounds so good. Um, next up, Graveyard Shift has a new formula this year. This is the one that kind of smells like candy. Oh, I love this one so much. It is caramel, fruity, bayberry, anise star, pumpkin, spices, clove cinnamon, sweet milk, musky, powdery. I'm, I'm really curious. I'm going to do a comparison. Hocus Pocus. I know everyone is interested in Hocus Pocus. Uh, Hocus Pocus um, 2 is coming out. Um, it is fresh orange, sunny freesia, jasmine vanilla, amber, soft musk, and again, it's powdery. I'm really curious about these. These are really, I cannot wait to get my hands on these. I should have them early. I'm hoping to have them in my hands before the 5th so I can go over them. Um, it's Alive. It's Alive is coming back. That one is green herbal, uh, four, four gear, smoke, wood, and amber. It's really smoky. It is. I like that one. Um, next up. So remember last year we had, what was it? Lady in white, I think. Um, this year we have Lady Darkness. The queen of the night whispers to you through delicate scents of aromatic woods, night blooming jasmine and Spanish moss. Again with the moss. <laughs> It's a spooky jar, too. Black rose, aromatic, bergamot, jasmine, moss, amber, and wood. Next up, I know a lot of people are interested in legends and lore. Legends and lore, really, really neat jar there. Um, lemon, balsam, eucalyptus, tobacco flower, jasmine, suede, black cedar, sandalwood, and amber. <gasps> That sounds really good. Is it like a is it like a pirate scent? I don't know. I'm thinking it might be. Nevermore. Oh my gosh. The Raven. This one's giving off like Harry Potter vibes all over the place. Um Spotted the Raven lurking from a distance. <gasps> sweet melody. It's sweet honey roasted cinnamon. Yeah. Um chai spice, honey, sandalwood tea, cinnamon, and floral. I think I'm gonna like that one. Next up, Pandora's Box, Pandora's Box, liqueur, cardamom, smoke, cashmere, violet leather, musk, vanilla, and patchouli. I'm like, yeah, Pandora's Box, I think I'm going to like. Red Rum, oh my gosh, big Stephen King fan here. Check out Red Rum, oh my gosh, that looks really interesting. Um, clove, fresh. Timber, black salt, patchouli, rose, tobacco leaf, gray amber, vanilla musk, and oud. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Don't fall into the trap of room 237. It's an homage to Stephen King. I think that's awesome. Um, Bulgarian rose petals. Bulgarian rose petals? This sounds amazing. Aircrow is back with a new label. And it's like super creepy because now there's like a child standing next to the scarecrow, um, which makes it even creepier. Um, scarecrow was wonderful. A lot of people wanted to get their hands on scarecrow last year and it sold out. These candles go fast, by the way. Um, tobacco, oriental, bergamot, herbal, leather, and amber. This one has got so much interesting spice in it. I could smell this one all day. Scarecrow is actually one of my favorites uh, from last year. Absolutely loved it. Sleepy Hollow. I know Sleepy Hollow sold out really fast this, this, uh, last year. This year it's got a new fragrance formula. It's pumpkin spice, incense, cedarwood, clove, caramel, and citrus. I don't know what this one's going to be like, uh, but I'm excited. I didn't bring Sleepy Hollow up yet. 
Vampire, I think, has one of the creepiest labels of them all. Um, it is brandied stone fruit, sweet, sparkling, pomegranate, persimmon, black raspberry, labdamum, dried plum, and amber. It's like fruity all over. I'm like, do vampires smell like fruit? Maybe they do. I don't know. But crystallized ginger, brandied fruit. I'm like, bring this one on. Yeah. Werewolf. This is another one that's kind of got like a Twilight vibe. Um, werewolf. Fanged, fearsome, fierce. Vetiver, patchouli, wood, peppercorn, amber, and spice. And then the last one. There's a lot of candles this year, you guys. The last one is going to be Witching Hour. Check out Witching Hour. It is dried berries, earthy spices, jasmine petals, blue cypress, violet leaf, smoky moss, sandalwood, and tonka bean. It's a mysterious time of the night. That's a lot of candles. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm like, Kringle has outdone themselves this year on Halloween. I have been a fan of Kringle candle, Halloween candles for years and years and years. Um, I'm a little bit sad the poison apple is not going to be back. And I'm a little bit sad that, um, like, Witch's Cauldron, because this is these are classic, you guys. Classic, classic, classic. I'm kind of curious if some of the new ones have, like, maybe the Witch's Cauldron vibe to it. Um, I'm also hearing that we are, we are going to get more, like, country candles or three wicks, possibly closer to Halloween. So there's a lot happening with Halloween. Oh, my goodness. So... Once I get my hands on some of these, I will start reviewing them. But if you have not experienced Kringle Candle Halloween, you are in for a treat. It is one of the most delightful times of year. And um, it's an event. It's a big event. I will be on hopefully like at midnight talking about these candles because uh, things get moving really fast. And again, uh, you can use my code Queen Geek uh, to get your hands on these. So anyway... Let me know your favorites so far, and um, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.